So it is currently 2 a.m. and I just tried falling asleep for like the past couple of hours. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just tried drinking some water. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I just, I can't fall asleep. I'm, I'm so dizzy. It's unbelievable. Like, I feel like I'm in a maze right now. This fucking sucks. Oh. <coughs> I just woke up and I'm seriously in the worst fucking pain ever. Like, I feel like my head's going to explode. I barely got any sleep. <laughs> Just my mind keeps racing and it feels like there's like a fucking bomb inside like I don't even know how to describe it guys Like I never fucking cry and this shit fucking kills I've never been in so much head pain in my life I'm gonna go to the hospital and I constantly feel like I'm gonna fucking throw up I can't even lay down We're going to the hospital right now I feel like I'm gonna freaking die This is dead ass the worst migraine I've ever had in my entire life And it is only 6.13am I couldn't sleep the entire night. Like I kept tossing and turning, trying to sleep. I was like shivering. I was so cold for some reason. My, I have lower back pain, kind of like similar symptoms that Lizzie had. And I just felt like puking the entire night and I just wasn't able to. Of course, the only night that I try and go to bed early and get some sleep, I can't. Well, they think I might have the flu. The doctor didn't come in yet to see me, but the symptoms that I was describing to them, that's kind of what they seem to be. I can't even speak right now, guys. I'm like delusional. What'd you say? They put a mask on you, so it might be more than flu. Yeah. So I have an IV hooked up to me, and I have to wear this mask in case it's contagious. I just feel like shit. Oh, this friggin' sucks, man. Never one day without something happening or going on. So I got water going into my vein right now to keep me hydrated. They were drawing a bunch of blood, and they're gonna run a bunch of tests to see what I got. I feel a lot better than I did earlier today, but I still feel like crap. Whoa, this is crazy. So right here, all the water is coming in through here, and this feels like extremely cold. Like just by pressing down in this area where my vein is, my entire arm from this point on is just like super cold. So I'm gonna chill here probably for like the next hour because of uh, we have, we gotta wait for the lab results. Okay, so they just gave me like pain medication, and I feel really tired now. And when she put the pain medication in, like it was like a burning sensation. I felt it in my arm. And it actually hurt, but I'm good now. This mask thing is so annoying, but I gotta keep it on. Okay, so we're not sure exactly what the problem is. It might just be a viral infection. They ran all the tests and everything on me, and I seem to be fine besides, like, they don't know. My white blood cell count is up a little bit, but it's not too bad. So it's probably just, like, a viral infection. I definitely feel a lot better right now than I did earlier. Like, a couple hours ago, I felt like crap. We've been sitting here for, like, an hour now waiting for the nurse so we can head out. Um, this is taking forever and I'm starving so I'm gonna try and get some food soon. Alright, so we just left the hospital We're gonna go get some food now because I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet today. Got a bagel mouth for breakfast So I pretty much just got home and I'm extremely tired since I got no sleep last night So I think I'm gonna pass out for a few hours right now and try and get some sleep <sighs> Alright guys, so I just woke up from about a four hour nap and I feel so much better right now than I did before. I definitely feel more energized because I couldn't even sleep before, like I said. Um, I had all these pains and headaches and I just kind of do shit, pretty much. Like, at least right now, I feel a little bit normal. Um, the only thing I have to complain about is like, I feel like I have swollen lymph nodes and my throat is like killing me. Whenever I try and swallow something, it feels like there's like a big ball in the back of my throat and it's not letting anything pass through. So that's definitely a sign of getting sick. Besides that, everything else kind of feels normal. Um, they gave me pain medication when I was at the hospital and I haven't had the headache since. And I know a lot of people are gonna think I'm a pussy because I was crying in the beginning of this vlog, but guys, you do not realize how much pain I was actually in. Like, I've never been in so much head pain in my life. Like, I felt like I was dying. It's currently 2.30 p.m. I got home around 10 a.m. and then I just passed out as soon as I got home. Let's get up and actually try and do something today because I do not feel like sitting in bed all day long. What's up, guys? Eating? Mm -hmm. How you feeling? Like shit, thank you. Did you get any sleep? Nope. Sorry, Ma. I woke up Mom super early. I couldn't sleep at all either. You woke me up. Oh yeah, Sabrina got out too because she had to take care of the dog and the yeah, dog was barking. I first hearing you crying. I know, it was bad. My house is a mess, I'm a hot mess. But I'm gonna eat and go in my pool. Oh, I wanna go in the pool? No. Yeah. <laughs> so I just got into my bathing suit because I want to try and go swimming and maybe get some sun like I really don't feel like sitting inside all day and I realized I still have these things on me from the hospital from when they had to do like a heart scan and I never took them off. So I'm about to take them off right now. It's like, they've been on here for hours, but there's like a little gel substance on it. It's kind of like glue, but it's not, and it like sticks to you.
Guess who's back, 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 back again. You'll be taking pictures of my fat. When I lose 20 pounds, then you can take pictures. Of your fat? You're underwater right now. I can't even see you. I know, good. You're underwater. But you can see mine. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just in the pool area for like the past 15 minutes, and I kept telling my mom to turn on the jacuzzi, and she kept saying no because we have the, the heat on the pool on right now. And as soon as I get out, she's like, hand me the remote. I'll put on this. I put on the spa. You're an ass. As soon as I get out. <sighs> got out of the jacuzzi, it was definitely refreshing. The only thing about our jacuzzi though, is that it's salt water. So whenever you're in there for a long period of time and you get out, you feel like super dehydrated and just tired, like you wanna pass out. So I'm probably gonna head in soon and drink some water because I feel like poop. But while we were in the jacuzzi, my mom's got the sprinklers on and they kept splashing into the jacuzzi. So it's like super warm in there and then I get hit by like a super cold feeling and I would always have to duck underneath so it wouldn't hit me. <laughs> the reason we have the sprinklers running is because we just got sod put down so the grass has gotta grow. Man, even trying to drink water is like, it, it just doesn't go down. Like I have that lump in the back of my throat. I know a lot of today's vlog is me bitching, but this is how life is guys. Not every day goes as you want it to. Sometimes we have shit that goes on that we can't control. So I just passed out again. For like another hour and a half. I just don't feel well, guys. It's like, I still want to post this vlog for you guys. But days like this, I know it's not entertaining. And I don't know how you guys are going to react to it. But I mean, I'll post it anyway. Because you guys would rather me post a vlog than not post anything. But this is just how my day's going. That sucks. And you guys can already assume that me and Lizzie aren't going to hang out today. Because she's still sick. And those spots on her hand got worse. She keeps like itching them and they keep getting like bigger and bigger spots. Also, a lot of the people that are saying, oh, you should take your girlfriend to the hospital. What the fuck are you doing? It's not my responsibility to take my girlfriend to the hospital. I think you guys seem to forget that I'm still only 19 years old. You guys probably think I'm a lot older than I actually am. And that's the type of thing that her parents have to do for her. Which she did go to the hospital, but guys, just chill the fuck out in the comments. You're like roasting me when I have no control over it. And it probably wasn't the best idea for me to go over Lizzie's yesterday because now I'm sick. At least we have some good news today. It looks like I'm about to hit 400,000 subscribers today, which is honestly insane. I'm glad you guys are really enjoying these videos. I put a lot of time and effort into it. And you guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos every single day. You guys mean the world to me. What also sucks, and I didn't even mention this to you guys because I didn't think I was gonna end up going anyway because of how I'm feeling, is tonight there's a premiere that I got invited to for that movie Now You See Me Too. And I saw the first one and I loved it and I really wanted to go. And uh, I can't go, but I would have to drive up all the way to New York and I was gonna have Lizzie come with me But unfortunately the way I'm feeling I can't go. Oh, and by the way the guy who was impersonating me I emailed him and told him to take his page down because like he's scamming people and using my face and name as a way to Rip people off and get their money. So good thing that's taken care of guys I will never do a fundraiser unless I mention it or say something in like a vlog or my Twitter or any of my official social media So don't fall for these things. Oh shit guys. We're about to hit it. Hey, we did it Thank you guys so much. This is so sick So I'm gonna attempt to go downstairs and try not sit in bed all day But I still feel extremely dizzy once again I think the medication wore off and I still feel like shit again I just took some day quill and and some Advil, so hopefully that helps out once it kicks in. This has been the shittiest day I think I've had within the past couple years. Like, it's bad. And what sucks is I feel like this entire vlog is just like me bitching and complaining, but you guys like don't understand. <laughs> and me and my mom have a business dinner to go to tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it or not because of the way I'm feeling. So if anything, we're just gonna have to reschedule it. What's crazy is I haven't eaten in over 10 hours, and you guys know that's insane for me. I usually eat like every three hours. I just have zero appetite right now. And it's definitely from being sick. So I can't really eat hard food, so I'm gonna try and eat some Easy Mac. Um, hopefully this goes down easy, and I don't feel the pain in my throat. But I definitely wanna make sure I get some food in my stomach, because if not, I'm gonna feel all delusional and dizzy later on today. My boys Ethan and Grayson are an extra right now. That's pretty cool. So we sent our mom to Target, and we said, Mom, can you get us products that you would normally use on like a day? Grandmom once again doesn't know how to work her own TV, so I gotta help her out. I don't know what I did. What did you pull up? I don't freaking know. Which remote did you touch? I don't know. You don't even know? <laughs> Alright, so Grandma ended up clicking the USB thing on her remote. So that's all you gotta Did do I now. Click? You click the me. USB thing for some reason. Who's that at? <laughs> she don't even know. Move your finger. Well, anyway, I got Grom's TV to work. Oh, now I say it. Thank you. Yep. Hello, puppy. Gio. Gio. He doesn't He's like Chloe going into my crotch. <laughs> Chloe's our old dog that we had before. <laughs> That I ended up giving to my friend Anthony. Well, Geo just peed. Look, now he's gonna go eat like nothing ever happened. <laughs> he stole my sister's flip flop. <laughs> my flip flop, please. 
<laughs> Gio, give it back. <laughs> I can't get him up. So I want to try and attempt to get a time lapse for today's intro with my drone. Let's see if I can do that. I'm just going to end up leaving it in the same place in the air. But it only lasts about 20 or 30 minutes, so it's only going to be like a 20 or 30 minute time lapse. Which I don't know if that's enough time. But we will see what happens. Sabrina's scaring him with the water. <laughs> oh my god, get him! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> He's gonna fall. Yeah. So I'm currently recording for the next 20 minutes of my drone. I'm basically trying to get the sunset view. The drone's all the way up there. You can't even see it. It is currently at 700 feet high. This is what the view looks like right now. I've been recording for two and a half minutes so far. Look, he learned how to climb stairs now. He's getting a little chubby. We gotta limit how much he eats. I just picked him up and he felt a little heavy. It is unbelievable how stable this drone is. Like, it's not moving at all. Oh shit, I just zoomed in a lot, but you can see the drone all the way up there. You can see the lights flashing on it. So I'm just gonna chill outside for the next 20 minutes or so, so I can get this shot. What's pretty cool about this drone, you can see everything from your phone. You can see how much power is remaining, the total capacity, how many times I've actually charged the drone, the voltage, um, everything. It's crazy. Alright, so my drone just landed, and it's almost completely dead. There is only 15% battery left. <laughs> He's always trying to bite my camera string. This dog feels like it weighs five more pounds since we got him. <laughs> he loves food. Surprisingly, I am the only person that this dog has yet to bark at. He's barked at everybody else besides me. He's biting my string. <laughs> You're playing tug of war? Yeah, come here. <laughs> you think you're quick. Mm -hmm. Jay. Theo. Guys, he's dragging my camera right now. <laughs> he's biting my sock. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> Where are you going? So I'm about to make these ramen noodles, and this is spicy beef flavor. But what's cool about these ramen noodles is that you actually don't keep the broth. It says to drain the noodles and then mix it with the sauce. So you don't use the broth in this kind. So it comes with soy sauce, seasoning oil, and bamboo sauce. Not exactly sure what this is. Of course, only this shit would happen to me. So I'm trying to look for my mini SD card that just came out of my drone. I don't know where I put it. And the thing is super small. So like, it's almost impossible for me to find right now. I've been looking around for it. Wow, I just found it. It was like blending in with the granite. I don't know how I couldn't find that. I was looking everywhere for it. This will officially be the first time in my life that I've ever strained ramen noodles. So I just poured all the packets in here. I'm gonna mix it together and then add the ramen noodles. It's like a very weird and thick substance. Alright, so I mix it all together. This stuff literally smells like dog food. Really spicy. <coughs> it's okay. It kind of reminds me of lo mein, if anything. My sinuses just opened up completely. Like the mucus in my nose started to drip out. That's how spicy this thing is. So I got the remote controlled Audi R8 to work. So even though this vlog is only about 14 minutes today, I hope you guys still enjoyed. Like I said before, a lot of you guys have said that you'd rather see a vlog go up rather than nothing go up. So even though I felt like shit the entire day, I still delivered for you guys and made sure that I made a vlog. So if you guys do appreciate my efforts, please give this video a big thumbs up. You know I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Go! <laughs> Ha ha ha!